Hi, my name is Anthony Renna and this is Strength Coach TV where we bring you inside some of the country's most successful facilities. For today's episode, episode seven, we actually have two parts, but we're going out to Santa Clarita, California to Results Fitness. Alan and Rachel Cosgrove will give us a tour in the two parts. First part, Alan's gonna give us a tour of the facility and that's today's episode. And then in part two, Rachel's gonna talk specifically about the juice bar that they added. So this is episode seven. Remember you can subscribe at youtube.com slash strengthcoachtv or just go to strengthcoachtv.com to watch episodes. Let's head out to Santa Clarita and Results Fitness. All right, so we're inside here with Alan Cosgrove, founder of Results Fitness with his wife, Rachel. Um, and what Alan's gonna do right now is basically give us a tour. Um, the cool thing about this place is it's really evolved over the time that he's been open. Uh, I started out really small and now he's uh, really big. So Alan, why don't you give, you, uh, give us a tour here? Thanks, Anthony. Anthony's been bugging me all week here. Um, <laughs> here we are at uh, Results Fitness. So this is, uh, this is our front desk if you wanna take a look at it. Originally, when you see the red walls, I had, it goes back further, but this is where I opened with, with uh, Results Fitness 11 years ago. I had half this one, one room. So this is now the front desk. Where I'm standing now is, was the beginning. I had about 600 square feet. So it's a little noisy tonight. I'm gonna show you what's going on. Uh, here's the warm up room. This client was bad, so we sent her in the corner. She's not, uh, she's, she has to stand there. All right, she's just stretching out a little bit. So this is the warm up room. The idea being people, and uh, you, can, you can see as they come in, they warm up, they do their warm up drills on the track. Uh, they do their foam rolling activation. Basically, this is where it starts. You come in, you, you check in at the front desk, and you move into here. This is sort of step one of the, the process. So it's, it's all, it flows very well. It'll make sense when we, we get together, so. Alan, no locker room? No locker room, there's the, the lockers. What we found honestly is, and, and this is just a business decision, is most people in California come changed and they want to go home and change. So we've never ever put a locker room. We've got a place for them to change, we've got no showers, nothing like that. So as you see, everybody has arrived, ready to go. So warm ups here on the, the track, courtesy of Perform Better. Uh, here's, our, here's our warm up DVD. So we have our foam rolling DVD and our basic activation DVD. So clients are assigned which of the TVs they're on, it's A, B, or C. They're actually, they got a little sticker on them. And they're told which one to follow. It's Mike Wench, Director of Programming, here Results Fitness. Uh, there's our, our functional movement screen kits, our foam roller holder. So people come in, they come into this area, they do their warm up, any other exercises we have, foam rolling. So this is part one of the program. Make sure you get everything. All right. <laughs> so this is the original, like yeah, this where is, we were. Th this is the original. This was uh, really from from here, from the, the uh, thermostat back was an office that only had this forward section. What's up, Lisa? You alright? This is for want of a better term. This is our corrective exercise and core area. We also do some chin-ups and stuff. So this area, once you've finished your, your workout, your warm-up and your activation, move in here, do a few exercises. <laughs> uh, not much else. Come and see the lines on the floor. Oh, courtesy, nice. courtesy of Craig Rasmussen, so that we know exactly how many inches away you are when you do your inverted rows. Craig Rasmussen right there. Nice job, Craig. So as the workout comes in, warm-up, activation, into this area for some core stuff, some other things, and this was the original roots. So, next room. <clears throat> this is the, the strength training area, so as the workout flows, again, as you warm up, we move into core, then we're into our resistance training portion. So, if you look at what we have, we have three of almost every set of dumbbell up to 25 pounds, uh, four actually, and then one set heavier. I have three free motion units, three racks, three benches. So it's almost like three mini gyms uh, within the one. Um, shut up and squat, it's Craig's sign. Everything else is just achieve, inspire, everything else is, is good. That's Craig's negative thing. So basically this is, again, I want to concentrate on what the flow of the workout. So it looks like chaos, but we would move people through the gym into this uh, type yeah. of situation. Yeah. So you warmed up, done your core, into strength stuff, just the bulk of your time in here. 
this was actually my first expansion. I went from one of these to, to two units after a couple of years, and it's there. So, uh, it's a recent expansion. Looks like there's a class about ready to start. Um, we don't just leave stuff lying around that results fitness. There is a class about to start that we're getting set up for. Um, come on in, Kathy. This is Charlotte. Wave. You're on Strength Coach TV. Smile. And uh, there's two of our, our staff members coming in. So this is what became our energy system room or our metabolic conditioning room and is also our group class. So this is really two uh, units. We started with one, expanded to, to next door. Come on, in. smile, you're on Strength Coach TV. Make sure you wave. So we expanded to two units, then I got the third unit uh, a couple of years ago, 2007 or so. And then this is a really a double unit. So the idea is just, this is a metabolic training. We got treadmills, uh, step mills, air dines, uh, spinning bikes. But the way the group class works is we do our same stuff. Everything has a purpose. We used to have room here. The turf is, is useful, to be honest, for some acceleration work or for some sled work, because rubber slides don't slide on rubber. Yeah. We got our battling ropes at the end there, which is a pretty popular tool. And what's the most people you'll have in a class at one time? We, the most we, we tend to have is about 30 in the class. It's going to look a, like a little chaotic right now, but that's about programming and flow. It's not about, um, we don't have a number, like I only want eight people to a coach. 30, yeah. 30 can get tight um, just because we're moving and we're accelerating. What's the square footage in here? In here, I think it's about uh, 1,200, this room, 1,100. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's, it's a pretty good, yeah. a good uh, size. It's a double unit compared to the others. So. But as we're flowing, this is where even if I'm doing a semi-private session, a one-on-one, -on -one, we finish here with some conditioning, some sled work, right? Yep. Some medicine ball stuff. Um, pretty cool. We got the treadmill. Somebody's blasting out on the airdyne. So again, what I you, you, even if it's a small place, you can get a lot of flow. Yeah. Right. We gotta. The idea is to even if you have no room. What I think in my head is units. Do I have? I'm gonna do corrective foam rolling, and in my head, it's like a big circuit. So I'm a, I actually move people through it, but in a smaller gym, you may be just moving them through in your head, yeah. but you get everything covered, so. Cool. <coughs> and then they uh, basically finish up, and uh, they're right and then ready. As we continue, ready for escape. We, this is the view from the, the other side of the, the strength room. Um, you see what's going on here. People just working out, this is where we're down at the bottom. And when you finish, and we finished back at the front where we checked in with our uh, what we call our recovery zone. Uh, you get your shake, your recovery shake. So it's like a big loop of the club when you finish your workout. So you know when you're down here, you're halfway. And you know when you're here, you're almost done. And you're starting to visualize uh, what's going on. So, But what we started is, if you look at this room, uh, I actually I started next door to this, but this was the size. I had half of one of these. Right, so you started and we were able uh, to, to get things done and we've been fortunate enough that the, the places next to us have been able to grow without moving. But we, we always suggest about 3,000 square foot to start with because we grew out of half of this to a full unit. We knocked down the office and had a closet really and then we got two of these so quickly that I would suggest starting with, I wouldn't be starting with 600 square feet uh, anymore. But, uh, that's the flow. That's really the, the history of what we do here. So uh, um, what I want to do now is uh, we're going to go and we're going to talk to Rachel, Rachel Cosgrove. Rachel, it was really Rachel's brainchild to kind of get the yeah, juice I, bar I just in, came right? I and moved some weights around. I, the whole thing is her brainchild. Okay, yeah. there we go. So we're going to talk to Rachel right now about uh, the whole idea about adding a shake bar. I just want to add, I'm not usually in a dress shirt at work. We just finished the mentorship at a hotel. <laughs> And this uh, episode of Strength Coach TV is sponsored by Coach CoachDose.com <laughs> and the, the first annual Beers for Pooches uh, charity thing. All right, let's go talk to Rich. Whether you're opening a small personal training studio or a major strength and conditioning facility, Perform Better's fitness facility design team will work with you from layout to installation to create the fitness facility design that best meets your needs and budget. Their team of facility design experts is dedicated to bringing you the best advice and equipment to help you and your teams perform better. Go to performbetter.com to fill out a facility design form and one of their trained facility designers will contact you to get started on your fitness facility today. When I open 5 Iron Fitness, I use Perform Better and I can't recommend them highly enough. Go to performbetter.com. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for episode seven of Shrink Coach TV. Thanks so much to Alan and Rachel Cosgrove for letting me come into Results Fitness and giving me a tour. Remember, this was part one. Part two for next episode, we are going to go and talk to Rachel about the juice bar that they added. So look for that probably in about a week or so. Um, you, remember, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash Shrink Coach TV or go to Shrink Coach TV to, uh, to just watch the videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.